Hi, welcome to Groundwork for Success. I'm Rick Lawman. And I'm Kitty Lawman from Lawman Training. What our goal in this video will be is to establish a foundation that will give you a horse that is quiet, responsive, confident, and willing to be with you in any and all circumstances. We're going to incorporate in a couple different horses to show different reactions to the same techniques that we're using. And one of the main things is that we want to get our horse to want to come with us. And one of the main ways that you establish that is by not following your horse. If she leaves, you're going to leave her quicker than she leaves you. Pretty soon, she'll say, well, you must know something I don't know because you're always going the other direction. A foal won't leave the herd and play by itself very long. It'll keep looking back to see if anybody's coming with it. And if not, he'll go back and try to convince somebody to go. What I like to do is to teach him to go forward. You can't get a horse to lead if they don't go forward. And we're also establishing how to give to pressure so that when you go to get on her, she's going to understand. You can see right now how she's kind of resisting that rope. If we were on her back, she would just be dragging or pulling all over the place and you wouldn't be able to get her to turn. There she softened and she turned. Good girl. Good girl. We want to prepare this horse to be safe around kids. Kids don't think before they run up and grab a hind leg. We have to prepare this horse so that if that happens, she'll know how to handle it. Good girl. Good girl. Want to keep that nice neck bent, that body tracking over just slightly. That's real nice right there. Now, Good if I'm girl. the one that always has the answers, and I'm expressive, consistent, and just, she's going to want to be with me because she can predict what I'm going to do, and she knows that I'm always going to take care of her. Good girl. Good girl. And she will do things willingly and want to do them instead of being forced to do them. And therefore, what we teach her, she will retain the rest of her life because it's hers. She's learned how to do it. The commands that we're going to use when we start lunging them are the same that we're going to use when we start riding them. Now, this little filly has never had her feet picked up. So what we want to do to teach her how to pick up her feet is to use this rope. Now again, if it's a Mustang or a horse you don't trust and you're worried about getting kicked, what we want to do is make a loop on the ground here. Now because she already leads, we can lead her forward and try to get one foot out, keep the other foot in. Good girl. Good. Now this could take you several tries. Good. Take her over her obstacle courses. Good girl. <coughs> Good. Let's see if she can remember how to get on the bridge today. Good girl, come on. Oh, good girl, good girl. Yay, what a sweetheart. First try today. Good girl. <laughs> good girl. That was nice. Not pretty? Let's do that again. Now, as we work with this, she will get better and better until we'll be able to just ask her to side pass over. We can start playing with them. Now, if she's out there, we can ask her to come back. Good, up here. Good girl, right here, next to me. Oh, good girl, good. Good girl. Now we're in the same position that we would be to ride, and we're above her, just like we would be if we're gonna ride her. Everything we do from the very beginning is to prepare them to be ridden somewhere. Now, we've shown her that this is safe, We've been on it. Now we could ask her to get on it. She's already gotten on the bridge. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Oh, what a good girl. Good girl. Oh, looky there. What a good girl. Oh, look at that chew. Believe it or not, she's never been on this pedestal before. But because we've asked her to try, she did. And now she's earned a great big reward because she did something we asked her to do automatically without being upset or worried because she knew she would succeed. Good girl. Good. And turn. Oftentimes when you push them away, they'll want to take off. Come back away from them and, dry, and try to pull them back to you. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Come on. 
Good girl, good girl, good. It's kind of fun to play with your horse. Here's a clip of an attempt to load this filly before we ever taught her how to lead. Now you'll see the change difference in her after all the steps that we've taken to show her we'll be with her and we will help her through each and every obstacle. We brought in a little Mustang mare that's been passed around for the last two years. Nobody's really done anything. The anticipation of contact that worries them the most. Good girl. Good. Oh, now settle down. Settle down. Good girl. I know somebody, huh? Somebody coming up to pet you. Oh, goodness sakes. Goodness sakes. Ugh. Come here. Good girl. I know. Yes, I know. You want to sniff? She says, no. You can see she does not at all want you to touch her. Good. Or, good. Good girl. And she definitely doesn't want to sniff you. Good girl. Look, you're fine. Good girl. Remember to always be expressive, consistent, and just. Good girl. If she did something wrong, let her know. Good girl. But that doesn't mean punish her severely for it. A punishment can be in your voice. Good girl. Or a This is a great place to stop with this mare right now. But we brought her in just to show you that what we did with the filly works on everybody. It just takes time. She was very afraid when she came, but now if we're quiet and we ask her to come with us. Good girl. She's actually coming right up. Good girl. She's close. To begin with, she didn't want to be this close. And now she's willingly coming up. Good girl. So if you take the time to teach them the steps that they need to know to build a solid foundation, you will have success.